James May, 59, spoke in a recent interview about aspects of his Top Gear career which he regrets. The star admitted that, alongside co-stars Jeremy Clarkson and Richard Hammond, they would frequently overstep the mark when it came to certain subject matter on the show. The TV presenter said the trio frequently did and said things that were inappropriate, but added they are human and make mistakes. One example he cites is from 2011, when the Mexican ambassador to London urged Richard to apologize for making allegedly offensive comments about Mexican people on the popular motor show. James accepted that they frequently messed up and got themselves into trouble because of the size of their public platform. He said, I mean, some of the things we did, we overstepped the mark. And they were inappropriate. Everybody does that. In the interview with The Times, he continued, but if you do it on TV, it's public and it's open to scrutiny, which is possibly a reason why you shouldn't do it. But we are only human. We make mistakes. I don't think we did any really serious, permanent damage. And a lot of the things we did, and when I say we, I mean mainly Jeremy, let's be honest, was all for the purpose of sensationalism. In the same interview, he went on to discuss his relationship with his co-hosts, talking about whether or not the trio were still close friends. The Grand Tour host explained the three aren't as close as fans might think as he claimed they have different lifestyles. James explained that a common misconception by many viewers was that the three motorheads might at first appear to be a bit Brexit, or a bit UKIP. However, he went on to confirm that none of the three are actually like that. He added that of the trio, he was definitely the least conservative-minded. James claimed that while Richard and Jeremy are trying to join the aristocracy and wear waistcoats and tweed, such a lifestyle doesn't appeal to him at all. The motor journalist lives in Hammersmith with his partner, dance critic Sarah Freider. Meanwhile, both Jeremy and Richard live in their own country estates outside of London. Speaking about the relationship between the three, James said they wouldn't have been so close had they met at any other time in their lives. If they had been at school together, he said they would have been in entirely different social groups. James said he would have been in the nerdy gang, while Richard would have been in the scouts. As for Jeremy, James quipped that he would have been in something nauseating like the Young Farmers or Young Conservatives, 